Hello, my dears, and welcome to another video on the channel. I am admittedly filming this in a little bit of a rush. I had quite a bit of work to do today. Also, some things happening on the moving front, which I will update you on later. But that took up a bit of my work day today. And then I realized I really need to film the intro to this video before I go run my errands. So to give you a little context on what I will be sharing in today's vlog, we are going to the Henley Royal Regatta. If you are unfamiliar or not from the UK, that is basically probably the most major rowing event in the calendar in the summer. And so it happens in a adorable town called Henley on Thames. And that is 45 minutes ish outside of the city. If you ever come to the UK and you're not from here, please go to Henley on Thames. It is so cute. It's just this little nautical town on a lovely river. So lovely. So the rowing event is happening for a few days in a row. We are going tomorrow, a friend and I. I was actually not going to be here this week in the UK. And then some of my travel plans changed and then I was here. And then I looked at the calendar, just like went on Tatler and searched up like what's the social calendar dates because they have everything very conveniently in one blog post. And I realized I was here on Henley Royal Regatta. So I quickly got a ticket and enlisted a friend to come with me. I will introduce you to her tomorrow. And so yes, I was just looking at the dress code online. The dress code is, is ladies are required to wear dresses or skirts with a hemline below the knee or jackets or blazers with trousers or trouser suits. Whilst not a requirement, it is customary for ladies to wear hats. So... I'm a little bit last minute on this whole situation, but I do have a dress which fits perfectly from Cezanne, which I love and I'll show it to you in a second. And then I'm definitely going to wear wedges because there is a lot of grass at this event. And so I don't wanna wear heels. And then the one thing, which is why I'm kind of in a rush right now is there is a bag from Strathbury, which I've been thinking about for a while. It's been on my mind for like six months. And I think if you're still thinking about a bag six months later, then it's probably a sign that you really want the bag. So um, it closes on King's Road at six. So we will see if I can make it there in time to go check it out. And I'll bring it with the dress and see if it like matches and everything. If it does, I might pick it up. So that is the dress code. Let me show you the dress. Okay, here is the dress. It is a shirt dress from Cezanne. I am obviously partial to a dress which looks a little bit like a tablecloth. I am loving the design and the pattern on this one. It's intricate and delicate and beautiful. It has some lovely brown buttons and a tie at the waist, which is very flattering. I got this actually fairly recently. I got this just in spring actually, so they might still have it online. I'll have a link it if they do. And then the other thing I have is a pair of LK Bennett beige espadrilles. I wear these for everything. They're very convenient. So that is the dress. That is the shoes. Still need to figure out the bag situation, potentially getting one on King's Road. When it comes to a hat, I honestly, I don't have a boater hat on hand and I don't have time to go get one either. So we're going to go with the hat optional option. <laughs> Okay, I was successful. It looks like I haven't slept for five years. It's because I just had a lash tinting appointment at the uh, Blink Brow Bar in Peter Jones, right on Sloan Square. And oh my lord, the woman was so kind. She was giving me a lovely shoulder massage, and I guess I like got a little too sleepy or something, like slightly opened my eyes. Oh, uh, it stung so badly. So anyways, that's why my eyes are ridiculously red. But in other news, I was very successful on my shopping trip. I got the bag, which I was thinking of. So I've had my eye on this for a few months. And sometimes you just need the right event and the right outfit to push you to make a purchase. So 
let's do a little unboxing. This is the East West uh, Croc Burgundy, the full sized size, not the mini one. We have the bag. And a dust bag. And, oh, it's not the most attractive thing in the world. <laughs> the styrofoam on, one second. Ta da! It's beautiful. It's a great size. I feel like that's perfect for if you want to go for an evening, for a day, you need something a bit bigger than a clutch so that. You can actually fit something. I have a Strathberry, I forgot the name of it, but some very like, thin envelope style clutch and it's lovely, but you can only fit so much in it. Whereas this, you can actually fit in some items for a full day. Oh, by the way, if you don't know Strathberry, it is a Scottish brand. Both well, the Royals have worn this brand. It is lesser known than most handbag brands, which I kind of like that. I like things which are a little bit more under the radar and not so mainstream. So this is lovely, but not too common in my opinion. Open it up. We have decent sized interior in there. And then the strap can be worn in a few different ways. We can fold like so, very nice, or with one strap a little bit longer or pull with two straps. I have bags in all other sizes but not in this size and so I feel like that's a good purchase and I really again had my eye on that one for like six months so glad I finally have the reason and excuse to go get it. Next up we are headed to Townhouse Nails on King's Road. I was in Greece about a week ago and so I have a very fun fiesta spring-like color on my toes but most of the year I tend to go for the very standard light pink, dark red, don't really go for anything too out there. So I had sort of like the vacation pedicure and now it's time to go back to my normal, usual pedicure. <laughs> How fabulous are these prints? I'm especially loving the green wallpaper right there. So pretty. We were just walking home from the pedicure and I don't know if you caught it on the time lapse towards townhouse, but we passed a very monumental building in the neighborhood on the way here. So in London, they have these blue plaques, which tells you the name of so-and-so famous person who lived in this building previously. However, this house does not have the blue plaque, but it is extremely famous and was in a lot of paparazzi photos back in the day. I'll show it to you and take a moment and see if you know whose house it is before I tell you. So this is on Old Church Road. The Thames is just down there and Chelsea Old Church as well. And here, this one right here is Kate Middleton's old flat. <laughs> Do tell me in the comments if you got it and you knew it was before I told you or if you didn't and I caught you out on that one. <laughs> Morning, my darlings. We are just in the Uber, headed to the station, and then we're heading to Henley Royal Riata. In order to get there, I could have driven, but I have a feeling there's going to be a few cocktails happening this afternoon, so we are taking the train. So yes, we are meeting a friend of mine, Emily. She is someone who I met at a Christmas business event like a year ago, and she's so lovely. I'm excited for you to meet her. We have made it to London Paddington Station. Don't turn, turn that often. I think I know what I'm doing.
Okay, the Henley fun has ended for one year. Emily was a little bit on the camera shy side and I, of course, don't wanna like force a camera in anyone's face and make them go on YouTube. So anyways, sorry you didn't get to meet Emily. She's a lovely human. You'll just have to meet her in person. But I didn't also have a chance to really show you my outfit. I will, when I go home, give you a proper look at the full ensemble, but let's get the train home. Okay, and we have made it home. So I have to admit, I didn't film as much as I wanted to and I feel kind of guilty, but it's okay. I'm only just starting with the whole like vlog your actual life and day thing, which is a bit of a change from the content which I have previously produced. So it's a little bit of a challenge, but I did get a few clips and I figured I would kind of share with you afterwards the whole situation. So, da -da. all right. I have on a dress from, I don't know if you call it Cezanne or Cezanne, the French brand, which I am obsessed with. The bag is the one which I showed you the other day. It was perfect for the full day. The shoes are the LK Bennett wedges. And then uh, the gold bangle is from Monica Mediter and the pearl bracelet is actually, I just picked it up in Greece. It was just some random small store in Greece. I actually have no idea from where. This pendant necklace is from the White Company. So who knew the White Company actually did jewelry? I did not. And then these earrings are my favorite earrings. I wear them all of the time. You will notice them in a lot of my videos. <laughs> they are from Majuri. So outfit wise, it was the perfect outfit for the day. Also temperature wise and everything too. It was a bit overcast today and when it did start, the sun came out, I was a little bit regretting wearing full sleeves, but it was only out for five seconds and I went back again <laughs> to being overcast. So if you ever do head to Henley, definitely recommend wedges are the thing, would highly recommend that. In terms of attire, a lot of blazers happening there, obviously, but that is basically people who are on certain rowing teams, they all are have their own specific team blazer. I was also very surprised by the lack of hats really not that much like nothing nothing like ascot or any other similar event very much so like hat optional it seems like it's not as much of a thing and trend and vibe right there right now which is kind of unfortunate of course i didn't wear one myself i love any excuse to wear a hat but as i said i just very last minute decided to go to this <laughs> which if you also want to go you can always just you can get tickets online like even up to the day of you could probably still manage to get a ticket and if you want to head to the event as well they have lots of areas with seating and drinks and food so you don't need to bring anything but it can also be really fun to bring your own picnic if you're a little bit more pre-organized there is also if you go in the car park you could basically it's kind of like american style football tailgating they also are doing that um, in the car park, which is also fun. So that was lovely. It also very much so reminded me of my Ole Miss days in Mississippi because the tailgates happening in the car park were very bougie. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, it reminds me, reminds me of the Grove. We headed into a few of the different enclosure areas that were there. They have the ticketed enclosures and they also have different rowing club enclosures. And then they have um, enclosures, just areas where they've, it's some sort of company or bar or something, which has set up their own area. Lots of different vibes and lots of different music and things happening, live music, that sort of thing. DJs also, it really goes into the evening and becomes quite the party. So while it is a full day event, we, I think we got there around one and that was great. But by the time it was like eight, I was I was ready to go home. <laughs> in terms of the actual rowing itself, I was also so surprised. I did not expect that, but there was a bunch of American universities there and I didn't really know what to expect by any means, but yeah, Harvard, Princeton, bunch of major US American universities were there. And I kind of just assumed it would be all UK universities. I didn't actually realize that it was international really. So that was kind of fun. So if you want to go to Henley as well, it happens every year in June. So definitely take a peek online to figure out the dates for the coming years if you ever want to stop by. And of course, if you're looking for something else to do while you are hanging out in the UK at any point in the future, then do watch this video next and you can come with me for a lovely weekend to the Cotswolds where I did the most me thing. I went to a tablecloth printing workshop and it was fabulous. So do come watch the next video for more on the Cotswolds and Soho Farmhouse too.